Numbers 26. After the plague, the Lord said to Moses and Eleazar, son of Aaron, the priest, Take a census of the whole Israelite community by families, all those twenty years old or more who are able to serve in the army of Israel. So on the plains of Moab, by the Jordan across from Jericho, Moses and Eleazar the priests spoke with them and said, Take a census of the men twenty years old or more, as the Lord commanded Moses. These were the Israelites who came out of Egypt. The descendants of Reuben, the firstborn son of Israel, were, through Hanak, the Hanakite clan, through Palu, the Paluite clan, through Hezron, the Hezronite clan, through Carmite, the Carmite clan. These were the clans of Reuben. Those numbered were 43,730. The son of Palu was Eliab, and the sons of Eliab were Nemuel, Dathan, and Abiram. The same Dathan and Abiram were the community officials who rebelled against Moses and Aaron, and were among Korah's followers when they rebelled against the Lord. The earth opened its mouth and swallowed them along with Korah, whose followers died when the fire devoured the two hundred fifty men and they served as a warning sign. The line of Korah, however, did not die out. The descendants of Simeon by their clans were through Nemuel, the Nemuelite clan, through Jamin, the Jaminite clan, through Jakin, the Jaconite clan, through Zerah, the Zerahite clan, through Shaul, the Shulite clan. These were the clans of Simeon. Those numbered were 22,200. The descendants of Gad by their clans were through Zephon, the Zephonite clan, through Haggai, the Haggite clan, through Shunai, the Shunite clan, through Oznai, the Oznite clan, through Arai, the Arite clan, through Aradai, the Aradite clan, through Aralai, the Aralite clan. These were the clans of Gad. Those numbered were 40,500. Er and Onan were sons of Judah, but they died in Canaan. The descendants of Judah by their clans were through Shela, the Shelanite clan, through Perez, the Perizzite clan, through Zerah, the Zerahite clan. The descendants of Perez were through Hezron, the Hezronite clan, through Hamal, the Hamalite clan. These were the clans of Judah. Those numbered were 76,500. The descendants of Issachar by their clans were through Tola, the Tolaite clan, through Pua, the Puite clan, through Jashub, the Jashubite clan, through Shimron, the Shimronite clan. These were the clans of Issachar. Those numbered were 64,300. The descendants of Zebulun by their clans were through Sered, the Seredite clan, through Elon, the Elonite clan, through Jaliel, the Jalielite clan. These were the clans of Zebulun. Those numbered were 60,500. The descendants of Joseph by their clans through Manasseh and Ephraim were the descendants of Manasseh through Machir, the Machirite clan. Machir was the father of Gilead. Through Gilead, the Gileadite clan. These were the descendants of Gilead. Through Aizer, the Aizerite clan. Through Helek, the Helekite clan. Through Azrael, the Azraelite clan. Through Shechem, the Shechemite clan. Through Shemida, the Shemadiah clan. Through Hefer, the Hepherite clan, Zelophehad, son of Hefer, had no sons, he had only daughters, whose names were Mala, Noah, Hogla, Milka, and Terza. These were the clans of Manasseh. Those numbered were 52,700. These were the descendants of Ephraim by their clans. Through Shuthala, the Shuthlahite clan. Through Bekar, the Bekarite clan. Through Tahan, the Tahanite clan. These were the descendants of Shuthala, through Iran, the Iranite clan. These were the clans of Ephraim. Those numbered were 32,500. These were the descendants of Joseph by their clans. The descendants of Benjamin by their clans were through Bela, the Belaite clan, through Ashbel, the Ashbelite clan, through Ahiram, the Ahiramite clan, through Shufam, the Shufamite clan, through Hufam, the Hufamite clan, the descendants of Bela through Ard and Naaman were through Ard, the Ardite clan, through Naaman, the Naamite clan. These were the clans of Benjamin. Those numbered were 45,600. These were the descendants of Dan by their clans, through Shuham, the Shuhamite clan. These were the clans of Dan. All of them were Shuhamite clans, and those numbered were 64,400. 
The descendants of Asher by their clans were through Imna, the Imnite clan, through Ishvai, the Ishvite clan, through Bariah, the Berite clan, and through the descendants of Bariah, through Heber, the Heberite clan, through Malkiel, the Malkielite clan. Asher had a daughter named Sarah. These were the clans of Asher. Those numbered were 53,400. The descendants of Naphtali by their clans were through Jaziel, the Jazielite clan, through Gunai, the Gunite clan, through Jezer, the Jezerite clan, through Shilem, the Shilamite clan. These were the clans of Naphtali. Those numbered were 45,400. The total number of the men of Israel was 601,730. The Lord said to Moses, The land is to be allotted to them as an inheritance based on the number of names. To a larger group give a larger inheritance, and to a smaller group a smaller one. Each is to receive its inheritance according to the number of those listed. Be sure that the land is distributed by lot. What each group inherits will be according to the names for its ancestral tribe. Each inheritance is to be distributed by lot among the larger and smaller groups. These were the Levites who were counted by their clans. Through Gershon, the Gershonite clan. Through Kohath, the Kohathite clan. Through Marari, the Marite clan. These also were Levite clans. The Libnite clan, the Hebronite clan, the Malite clan, the Mushite clan, the Korahite clan. Kohath was the forefather of Amran. The name of Amran's wife was Jochebed, a descendant of Levi, who was born to the Levites in Egypt. To Amram she bore Aaron, Moses, and their sister Miriam. Aaron was the father of Nadab and Abihu, Eleazar and Ithamar. But Nadab and Abihu died when they made an offering before the Lord with unauthorized fire. All the male Levites, a month old or more, numbered twenty-three thousand. They were not counted along with the other Israelites because they received no inheritance among them. These are the ones counted by Moses and Eleazar the priest when they counted the Israelites on the plains of Moab by the Jordan across from Jericho. Not one of them was among those counted by Moses and Aaron the priest when they counted the Israelites in the desert of Sinai. For the Lord had told those Israelites they would surely die in the wilderness and not one of them was left except Caleb, son of Jephunneh, and Joshua, son of Nun.